All right, I'm going to teach you guys a secret. I was playing a set. This is against Kid Viper. Kai versus Soul, right? Just to, as like a starter. In this matchup, Kai is a defender and Soul is the attacker. Kai has better normals. Kai has better range. Kai has great fireball. Soul has to initiate. Kai gets to wait. The position we're talking about here is like knockdown right and then into the corner. So a couple of things to keep in mind, right? The number one rule, if you want to keep the corner, you should stand under the timer. In general, most characters' normals will not reach you. So if they try to poke on the ground, you stand under the timer, you can counter poke against them. You're at the perfect distance where if they try to jump, either with a regular jump or with an air dash forward, that they can stay on the ground and anti-air you, right? With like 6P or 2H or an air to air or whatever they want to do. So the first thing I do here is I run FD. Pretty safe option. The most obvious way to get out of the corner is the fucking run <laughs> or to air dash out like that right those are the, the two most obvious solutions so i run forward here and i have to eat. what i see is that kv is not defending space he's already chosen to back up maybe because he doesn't like how close he is or he's expecting a riskier approach option so he back dashes after he back dashes here i'm first i saw that he had backed up so then i attack not and i find the counter here right so when you watch this you can see my escape method in in full speed pretty simple right so let's go to the next round and i just get hit at round start put into the corner and you know i'm in this pressure i get knocked down charge stun edge life is miserable right so after i block in this position how do i escape the corner the likelihood of the same solution working twice is low you can't really get away with doing the same thing multiple times against a good opponent so i try running forward and this time kv challenges immediately this is a good opponent he scouted it like that snap reaction he was like all right i'm not gonna let this moron just run at me on the ground and get out in this position you have to understand right i've lost a lot of life already and i want to make it out of the corner without losing any more life ideally in this position i know the biggest win condition that kai has is anti-airing me he gets a clean anti-air on me and i'm gonna lose like 40 percent, and that's what he wants he doesn't want to hit me on the ground because he has to, you know, confirm a ground string and spend meter and all this kind of stuff. His best combo is anti airing me. So I want him to think that anti airing me is what he should do. Also, yeah, Ryan is correct that dash blocking there was super low risk on the first one. I could do like jump bandit bringer or I could do like nitro uh, cold brew vortex to try to get out. But those are high risk options and I don't want to risk more life trying to escape. So this is the secret technique. I neutral jump. That's my secret technique to escape the corner. Why would neutral jump be a strong option in a situation like this? Think about this like a turn-based game, right? Neutral jumping is like passing my turn. I don't actually do anything. He's in a great range to counter poke me, which he tries to do, right? And he did last time. He's in a great range to anti-air me. He is the reactive opponent here. I have to do something first. I don't actually do anything, but I do something. And he is poking. Because he had committed to an action, he sees the neutral jump and in his head, he's like, oh shit, he can air dash at me and I'm committed to an attack already. He can double jump up here and then like try to escape the corner. He can double jump and then do bandit bringer down. He is in a scary position now. Now he is like, I need to do something covered to this escape, right? My jump threatens like four options, but I don't want to do any of them because they're risky. I don't actually want to do those things. I'm just pretending like I do. So I neutral jump, right? What does KV do? He neutral jumps because he's like, shit i should neutral jump and now i can cover space if he air dashes at me i can air to air him if he jumps up here and double jumps for bandit bringer i can hit him out of the sky and prevent this from happening and then what do i do after i run up i see that he committed to this i anti-air i was going to run block if he committed to an option but then when i saw that he jumped i anti-aired so i anti-air i run over teach you guys that. and now i'm out of the corner kv got up and immediately ran up to try to cover space but it was too late so like when you watch this in fast motion it seems like such a simple thing to do but i really just passed my turn i did a low commitment option that was super safe at that range to try and convince my opponent to do something else and in fast motion it's so quick to run block gets challenged neutral jump anti-air that is a seek I gotta teach you guys that. That's a I'm out of the corner. When you're in a position like this, you have to understand what the win condition is for your opponent. Like it's his best case scenario is anti airing me with six P counter hit into the corner and then murdering me. So I just neutral jump because it's a threat, right? Notice that when I neutral jump here, I forced a response. And his response now is before I actually did anything. I pretended like I gave him best case scenario. He responds. 
and then I get the counter. In a perfect world, obviously, he can react to every single thing I do and counter, but this isn't a perfect world. This option is fast, and it forces an immediate response because it has a lot of threats there. It only really works because my opponent is fucking good. He's like a very reactive player and a very smart player, right? He, ve he very rarely did things that were, were risky. Even in this case, KV doesn't even lose life, right? Like he loses, he gets tapped by 5k, but that's all. He loses the corner and like this much life. And it only happened because this motherfucker KV at 99 seconds puts me in the corner every time. Most new players, the reason that they struggle, they don't know how they win or how their opponent wins. I think that in other genres, they talk about win conditions. How do you win this matchup? What are the things that make you win that makes your opponent lose? What are you looking for? Fighting games have win conditions all the time. The only thing to think about is that, yeah, the, the win condition is not immediate necessarily. Jumping at Kai at that range in particular is the biggest win condition I could grant him. There's like nothing I can do that gives him a higher chance to win the round. How do you figure out what they want? So understanding and finding out win conditions just takes time and experience, I think. And also thinking about the match, right? Just consider it. When you get hit at a certain range, what does the most damage to you? What's the hardest thing to deal with? What's the most important thing that your opponent keeps landing on you? Now, I'm not saying that you should always neutral jump in the corner, but what I'm saying saying is that the only way out of a situation is not always forward i think if you're like a new player your thought process is i'm in the corner i'm scared i must leave to escape the corner all you have to do is do a little bit of thinking use that head of yours right use your brain the notation for this sick combo video eight hanzo is convinced that he can swim in full plate armor i want you to understand that consider hanzo gonzo he is a little fellow he's not agile nor is he sturdy i don't know man I don't see it. I think he's going down. He's sinking. Do a will it kill with me <laughs> and full we'll plate armor. Hanzo, if that wasn't so morbid, I'd be in. All in on yes. 